I'd like to start off by thanking our sponsor for financing the parts for this Frankenstein monster. You know, there isn't too many TV shows that I could think of that feature MF Doom's music. The one exception that does come to mind is the Adult Swim classic, The Boondocks, which I find to be quite fitting. As I mentioned in my previous two videos, media such as Doom's music is pretty esoteric, and I think the same argument can be made for The Boondocks, as it's a very compelling and thoughtfully written show, but due to its narrow appeal in terms of marketability, it's not exactly the most relevant to mainstream audiences. But that's exactly what I find so fitting, that The Boondocks, this misfit of a TV show, would feature the supervillain's music. Initially, I figured that MF Doom being featured and referenced so regularly on the Boondocks might have had something to do with the fact that these episodes came out in the mid-2000s, back when Adult Swim and Doom's relationship was at its peak. However, Adult Swim Vice President Jason DeMarco denies this, saying that Aaron Magruder, the creator of the Boondocks, was simply a fan of hip-hop, and personally chose to feature Doom's music on his show. As a result, the Boondocks was a lot of people's first exposure to Doom. And it's not hard to see why. The show is littered with MF Doom songs, especially the 11th episode of the first season, titled Let's Nab Oprah. This episode revolves around Ed, Rummy, and Riley, planning to, as the title suggests, kidnap Oprah. But not before Ed and Rummy practice robbing a bank, which we watch play out over the track Strange Ways. Okay, let's roll. Drink cabin. Nobody move a goddamn muscle. Best start acting like your mannequin is like you the writers do a really good job at matching the themes of the scene with the lyrics of the track. Obviously, he came to portion up his fortune. Sounds to me like that old robbery extortion. Hurry up! Game. Come on! You can't reform him. The next track to be featured in this episode is Raid, which plays over Ed and Rummy's first attempt at kidnapping Oprah. How do you hold heat and preach nonviolence? He about to start speech, come on, silence. How many hold heat like Clint Neeson's pistol? The last track to be featured in this episode is the iconic All Caps, which plays over the fight scene between Huey and Oprah's bodyguard, Bushido Brown. Keep your battery charged, he know it won't stick yo, and it's not his fault, you get slow. Again, the writers perfectly pair the lyrics of the song with the scene. Additionally, in the closing credits of this episode, we get this photo of the Mad Villainy album cover. This video is brought to you by gifting me your Amazon Prime sub on Twitch. If you're already an Amazon Prime member, then you get a free Prime sub every month, and you could gift it to me at no additional cost as a way to support the channel. I'll leave a link to my Twitch in the pinned comment below. And if you don't have Amazon Prime, or simply just don't want to support my channel in that way, then that's fine too. Just leaving a like on this video goes a long way too, so thank you. In the 13th episode of the first season, the track Fancy Clown is featured on the episode titled Wingmen. As far as I can tell, it's only the instrumental since we don't actually hear Doom rapping. And once again, the writers are on point with their use of the music to match the themes of what's happening within the scene. In this particular scene, it's revealed that Grandad's old friend was involved with one of the women he liked. And the story within the track Fancy Clown is about the character of Doom stealing Victor Vaughn's girl. She was the prettiest thing. something strange for a piece of change. Shit. God damn. I love to hit this again. Oh, shit. <laughs> I just couldn't forgive him. And similarly to the other episode, we get this image in the closing credits. This time telling viewers where they could find and purchase Mad Villainy. Now, this isn't a direct use of Doom's music, it's more of a subtle reference. The episode revolves around not snitching or cooperating with the police. And this scene in particular that features the Doom reference is about the subject of rappers dry snitching. Which, as we all know, is the whole theme behind the track Rap Snitch Canisius. The first reference can be heard in the background, as a beat that resembles the instrumental featured on Rap Snitches can be heard playing while Huey commentates over the situation. Ironically, despite the hip hop community being the driving force behind the Stop Snitching movement, rappers tend to snitch on themselves a lot. The second reference comes when the fictional rapper Gangs Delicious has this line that's very indicative of the MF Doom track. Hold on, hold on. Uh, uh, got the beat, got the beat. Uh, Gangs Delicious, reminds two fishes. EMCs all day, mmm, delicious. Mmm, delicious, rap snitch, delicious. Now, this isn't actually part of the show, but I figured it was worth mentioning here. The official Boondocks mixtape, as you may have guessed, is a mixtape, and a compilation released by Asheru, the same artist responsible for the Boondocks opening theme. The mixtape features various popular and underground hip-hop artists, with the most pertinent for this video being our favorite villainous MC who has a couple tracks on this tape. 
The 21st track being Old School, from the iconic Danger Doom album The Mouse and the Mask. Two tracks after that, we get the second Doom track, Angels, off the album Born Like This. A second and a third follow-up for the mixtape were eventually released, but none of them actually featured any more Doom. Anyways, was the Boondox your first exposure to Doom's music? I'm curious to know how many of you guys actually watched the show. I'll leave a link to my Twitch and my Patreon in the pinned comment, right above an invite to my Discord server. Or if you'd like to go the extra mile for me, then try posting this video on a relevant subreddit, Facebook page, or Discord server. I'd also like to give a special shout out to VB, who made the thumbnail for this video. Lastly, a special thank you to you guys for the continuous support. It's viewers like you who care enough to watch these videos all the way to the end that I appreciate the most, so thank you.